gonna be delivered overnight. We're the fastest. Fred's Express. Don't waste any time. Call us. Fred's Express. But it absolutely, positively, definitely, no doubt about it, almost maybe, kind of possibly has to be there overnight. Fred's Express. Fred's got a van and a full tank of gas. Fred's Express. There's no faster way except to take it yourself. When you give us a package, we get moving. Oh, I see. Fred's Express. When it absolutely, positively should have been there overnight. Whether it's going across town or across America, don't worry. Fred doesn't know the meaning of the word speed limit. Fred doesn't know what a red light means. Not responsible for damages. Fred's Express. When it's got to be there fast. Approximate driving time to California? 18 hours. How do we do it? You don't want to know. Fred's Express. Give us the package and stand back. Fred's Express. Message from one of America's major oil companies, Extorco Oil. We oil companies have been criticized a lot lately. People blame us for the high price of gas and accuse us of all kinds of things. But let me just say this on our behalf. You shouldn't criticize us just because we're a big oil company. We don't like it. Why do you want to get us mad? We're, we're not just any business. In fact, we're not really a business. We're a monopoly. We're Extorco Oil. We're everywhere. We're in your neighborhood. Matter of fact, we own your neighborhood. And we're getting sick of people criticizing us. Stop giving us a hard time. Or we'll bring back gas lines. Or we'll raise the price so high the pump will look like your zip code. Extorco Oil. Getting bigger every day. How much money do we have? Imagine a line of $1,000 bills stretching from here to the twilight zone and back. So think about it before you attack us. A group of people came down once and picketed in front of our building. Turned out to be an unfortunate incident. An extorco oil truck making a routine delivery didn't see them and accidentally backed up over them. We're also sick of legal trouble, lawsuits. Forget it. The last man that tried to sue Extorco Oil got halfway through his case when suddenly he had to return home to attend the funeral of his family. Don't try to sue us. We'll buy the judge. We'll buy your lawyer. We'll buy the company you work for and fire you. We'll buy the company that made the paper that subpoena was printed on. Extorco Oil. Where nobody tells us what to do. We make organized crime look like a panty raid. Extorco Oil. Bringing you tomorrow's energy problems today. Remember, we're in your neighborhood because we own your neighborhood. Just look for the black sign that says Extorco. It's coming soon. The most terrifying film you've ever seen. A movie about something so frightening you won't believe it. You'll be covering your face. About something so big and vicious nobody can stop it. A phone company out of control. Its limbs reach into every house. It's on every corner. It's in every business, every store, even every church. All controlled by the biggest, most evil monster you ever saw. The government couldn't stop it. It drains your wallet, your bank account, takes everything you've got and comes back for more. Don't miss this movie about the most terrifying thing you've ever seen. Phone Company. Phone Company. The scariest movie ever made. Remember the movie Psycho? It could be the cartoon for this movie. Three minutes into the movie, you'll be yelling to the projectionist, Please shut it off! But too late, you can't stop the phone company. After seeing this movie, whenever you see a phone booth, you'll cross and walk on the other side of the street. Phone Company, a true-to-life movie that's so terrifying, you won't believe it could have happened in America. See it at a theater near you, if they haven't bought it yet. You know who we mean. Everyone's tried and no one's been able to locate it. People from all over the world have searched for years and couldn't find it. It's an impossible mission, even for the greatest secret agent in the world. But Bond's gonna try and find it. An apartment in Manhattan. Doesn't sound totally impossible. It is. Bond's been told to find one for under $800 a month. It's the toughest assignment the Secret Service has ever given 007. See Bond in action. The new James Bond movie. Four-year lease only. Now playing at a theater near you.
good news for beer drinkers. The greatest beer there is now available in light. Lighter beer. Try it. Lighter beer. It's lighter. Less filling. Less fattening. Lighter beer. Half the calories. Twice the price and half the flavor. Why is everybody all of a sudden making light beer? Why didn't we do this originally? We just thought of it. Besides, if we had always done it this way, now we'd be coming out with heavy beer. Aren't you glad we didn't do it that way? We're glad we came out with lighter beer. We noticed how fat all of you got from years of drinking beer. You want to lose weight. And if we hadn't come out with lighter beer, we were afraid you might do something sensible like stop drinking beer. Lighter beer. Half the calories, twice the price, half the flavor. The Extorco Oil Company. Many people still blame us for the high price of gas. Stop criticizing us. We're not a movie that just opened. We're the Extorco Oil Corporation of America. And we're tired of complaints, charges, accusations, and lawsuits. So what if gas is $1.20 a gallon? If it was 40 cents a gallon, you'd still complain. If you don't like the price of gas, don't buy it. Walk. But think about this. It's the middle of a cold night here, a hundred miles from home and out of gas. Suddenly, a dollar twenty a gallon doesn't seem so bad, does it? It costs us a lot to look for oil. If you don't like the job we're doing, then go look for oil yourself. Get a spoon and go out in the backyard. By the time you find oil, your car will have died from body rotting. You'd be too old to drive anyway. Remember the woman in Chicago who said we were blackmailing America? The president of Extorco Oil personally attended her funeral. She died in an explosion caused by a mysterious gas leak. The Extorco Oil Corporation of America will not tolerate criticism. We're not here to be friendly. We're here to sell gas. We've even modified our gas stations over the years. We don't give out maps. We don't have soda machines, restrooms, or gum machines. We're not an amusement park. We're a service station. And don't complain to the attendant. He's trained not to listen. But you'd better. At the Extorco Oil Corporation of America, we think J.R. Ewing is a sissy. Extorco Oil. We're everywhere. We're in your neighborhood because we own your neighborhood. Look for the black sign that says Extorco Oil. Bothered by acne pimples, we can help. Maybe you've tried everything else, but nothing is as strong and effective as our product. New Boric Acid 5, guaranteed to remove pimples. Apply it with our special steel wool pads and scrub hard. It'll remove pimples and even more. Use it to remove rust from your bike. Can be used also to remove varnish from furniture. But most of all, it removes pimples. Available in hardware stores everywhere. Pick up some today. Pizza face. All right, and we'll be back uh, in, in just a moment. Now, a message from your phone company. As you know, recently we had to raise the rates again. We were astounded at the number of people who complained. Some were so angry they were threatening to have their phones taken out. Do these complaints bother us? No. Why not? Because most people call to complain. We make 10 cents on each call. Every time there's a rate increase, we get a million calls. A million dimes. Add that to the profit from the rate increase. You don't like our service? Why don't you take your business elsewhere? There's no law that says you have to have a phone. You think their rates are too high? Give us your address. We'll come right over and take the phone out. And give it to someone else. We've got quite a waiting list. Of course, we have to charge you to take it out. It's only fair. You're fed up. Don't want your phone? It'll cost you more to have it taken out. We got you coming and going. Here's a riddle for you. What takes you anywhere you want to go for pennies a mile and costs $15,000 a year? Your car? 
No, your phone. And it costs even more to have it removed. You say you've had it with high phone costs. You say you don't want a phone anymore. Think about this. Imagine this situation. It's three o'clock in the morning. There's a large man with a ski mask on breaking through your window. And you're yelling police at the top of your lungs because you had the phone taken out. Or how about this? You wake up at 4 a.m., your whole house is on fire. What would you do? Write a letter to the fire department? Now that you've decided to keep your phone, we're pleased to announce some new charges. From now on, there'll be an attempted dialing charge. Many times you'll pick up the receiver, dial a few digits, then decide not to make the call. We must now charge 10 cents for attempted calls. When you pick up that phone, you set circuits in motion. We must bill you. Remember, when you open that line, you've opened your wallet. Now let's talk about some of our other charges. Let's say you dial a wrong number. You want to be credited? Just call the operator. One dollar consultation fee, non-refundable. We'll decide then whether we should go to court. You figure how much for lawyers taking time off from work. Maybe you should just pay for the wrong number. And the consultation fee. It's only fair. You don't think it's fair? Don't use our phones. Make your own phone system. Wire up America yourself. We can see it now. Ernie's phone system. Be realistic. We'll also have a new type of phone bill. The more comprehensive phone bill. Check it over carefully. Listed will be time of call, who you called, what you talked about. A written transcript will be enclosed. Call about having more phones installed. Our new plan, no charge for phones. Oh, you want a cord? $24.95 per month. Oh, you want it to ring? $18 per month. Oh, you want a designer phone? Sure. For $16, we'll send you some decals. Oh, you want a different color phone? Send us $18, we'll send you some paint. Just pray it doesn't ring before it dries. You'll end up with a green ear. It's your fault. You got greedy. You weren't happy with a black phone. You think you sound any better on a green phone, you're crazy. Would have been easier just to paint the bedroom black. You say you don't like paying $25 a month just for the phone. For $25 a month, we don't like trusting you with an advanced piece of electronic equipment. Who knows how a moron like you is treating it. You're tired of high prices. You don't want a phone anymore. All right, we'll take it out. We don't even have to come over. We'll disconnect it from downtown. But please, stand back. We don't want anybody hurt when the phone goes crashing through the wall as we reel it in. As Max pulls the cord in from downtown. You want more details? Give us a call. That's right, call. Remember, we make a dime when you do. A message from your phone company. WMCA. Where can you experience excitement, terror, thrills, high-speed chases, drama, danger, suspense, intrigue? Where? The New York City subway system. Live a little. Take the subway home tonight. Join America's biggest carpool, the New York City subway system. When you're at the token booth, ask for our new Transit Authority gift catalog with all kinds of souvenirs and great MTA designer gifts you can order. Like our new MTA helmet, comes in three colors. Or designer mace, protective goggles for those late night rides. Or designer MTA bulletproof vests. Our MTA brand spray paint. Write your own graffiti at home. See how many words you can fit on the back of your house. Or order our MTA blood type tags. They show blood type and religious preference. Can be read easily in any subway stop or emergency room. Make life interesting. Take the subway home tonight. More characters than your favorite TV show. Don't let life pass you by. Let it pass before your eyes. The New York City subway system. Port of call, Times Square. The F train, the double R. The MTA is looking for a few good men. How would you like to work for the subway system? Be somebody. Get to wear a uniform, fancy belt and two key loops, and shoes that never have to be shined. Learn to snap to attention when someone says, hey you. The MTA is hiring new transit workers. How about you? 
If you can open a roll of quarters, you qualify. If you know that four quarters equal a dollar, you're in line for a promotion. You know how many pennies in a dollar, you could be management. The MTA will put you through basic training, teach you everything you need to know to be a good subway worker. How to ignore cries for help, become immune to the smell of spray paint, learn to say, I don't know, in three different languages. Don't spend the rest of your life riding around on the subway, become part of it. The subway, it's not just a job, it's an adventure. See your local subway recruiter or call toll-free 1-800-DEATH. What's the matter with Bill? He seems so relaxed. He can't take caffeinated coffee he's been drinking. No, no caffeine. Well, that's ridiculous. He should try new Perky coffee. The coffee with plenty of caffeine. It'll get him good and riled up again. Perky coffee for people who enjoy caffeine. It's coffee with lots of caffeine. Full of it. Plenty of caffeine. At Perky, we don't scrimp on the caffeine. Try a cup. You won't sleep for four weeks. Perky, the official coffee of Night Watchmen. And great for truck drivers. So much caffeine, you won't be able to stop drinking it. One sip and you'll be addicted. You'll be drinking it out of a wastebasket in a couple of weeks. At Perky, we never sleep. And neither will you. Put the extra time to good use. Double your income. You can have three full-time jobs. You'll be a security guard making $100,000 a year. Listen to what people are saying about Perky Coffee. I never sleep thanks to Perky Coffee. After I started drinking Perky, I was able to sell my bed. I didn't need it. I sold all my sheets and pillows. I transformed the bedroom into a stockroom for Perky Coffee. Perky, the coffee with lots of caffeine. It'll keep you on edge and up for weeks. Perky Coffee. Get addicted today. Perky from Wide Eye Incorporated. Here's Phil Prosciutto for the money. Don't worry, come to the Money Boutique. You'll hock up to your neck. Holy cow, what did you do? I went level on your body, but you're probably just spending on something stupid. Don't be a moron. All right, all right, we'll lend you the money. Just don't blow it. Try to save something for lawyers. Just in case we have to sue you. You want to borrow 50 G's? <laughs> what the hell, are you going to buy a battleship? Holy cow, we were thinking more like, you know, 100 bucks. You obviously don't know how to handle money. Oh, jeez. And now you want to borrow from us. <laughs> Go slap a lean on your house so fast your head will spin. I'm telling you right now. Miss a payment, you lose your garage. Miss a second payment, you lose the patio. Miss one more payment, you're going to miss living indoors. Think of it this way. My money is your money. Your house will be our house. Holy cow. Borrow up to 50 big ones. 50 bananas. With small weekly payments. Stretched over decades. You want more information? Boy, you just can't wait to get your hands on that cash. Take it easy. Holy cow, hold on. There's some paperwork involved here. Think we're just going to hand you 50 Gs? You're out of your mind. We don't throw money around like you do, you know? Yeah, call the Money Boutique today. That's if you paid your phone bill. This is Phil Prosciutto for the Money Boutique. You've tried diets. You've tried fat farms. You tried jogging. Come on. You like to eat. You're fat. You're overweight. So what? Come visit us and you can be yourself. Come to Lardo's, the restaurant for fat people. Lardo's. Why feel guilty? Come to Lardo's and pig out. We only serve fat people. Meet your own kind. All you can eat. Listen to these specials. Whole chickens, buckets of french fries, loaves of bread, all smothered in butter. All you can eat for dessert. A sundae in a bucket. How about a 64-inch pizza covered with hamburgers, hot dogs, and every possible food known to man? A pizza so big, you'll wonder where your table went. Only at Lardo's. The restaurant exclusively for fat people. If you're gonna count calories here, you better bring a computer. Lardo's. All the food you can eat. Try our leftover bar. Enjoy dinner with your kind. As you dine, soft music plays in the background. If you can hear it, the room sounds like a room full of blenders. Lardo's has a doctor on duty at all times. All credit cards accepted, but we'll take the card before you eat. Lardo's, where you can eat your brains out. You must have a reservation and give us one hour's notice when you want to leave. It's nice. The chemistry is just right for us at Chemistry Bank. At Chemistry, we make sure the bank closes promptly at 3. We make sure the lines are long, so you won't be lonely. At lunchtime, we make sure there are only two tellers, 
but you won't be out in the cold, wasting your lunch hour looking for a place to eat. We'll keep you in our warm bank as long as possible. And to save the confusion of which cash machine to go to, we only have one. Some banks have hundreds of cash machines all over the city. We only have one to make things simpler for you. The chemistry's just right for us at Chemistry Bank. Not a member of FDIC. MCA. You've seen him in the comic books. You've seen him in cartoons. But you've never seen him like this before. In 70 millimeter and Dolby stereo sound, Pacifica International is proud to present Beetle Bailey, the motion picture. Featuring an all-star cast. Orson Welles as Sarge. Lawrence Olivier as General Halftrack. And introducing in her motion picture debut, Suzanne Summers as Miss Buxley. And starring the legendary Marlon Brando as Beetle Bailey. You've never seen Beetle Bailey until you've seen Beetle Bailey, the motion picture. Now in 70 millimeter and Dolby stereo, rated R. Tickets available in advance for reserve seat performances only. Beetle Bailey, the motion picture. movie critic, Rex Rude. America's most uh, respected film critic has another exciting movie review for you. Now, here's Rex Rude. Thank you. Been busy, 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 going from movie to movie to movie. Been to so many movies lately, now I bring my own flashlight. I went to see Superman, the motion picture, as opposed to Superman, the TV show, which you can watch for nothing. What's the difference? Five dollars. Superman, disguised as Clark Kent. The most amazing thing in the movie, no one knows Superman is Clark Kent because of his ingenious disguise. A pair of black plastic glasses. Amazing. Amazing anybody would be fooled by this. Metropolis doesn't seem to be too safe, you know what I mean? A guy could go on national TV, kill 45 people, then just put on a pair of black plastic glasses and get a job as a file clerk in the police station. Master of disguise, black plastic glasses. Inspector Henderson can't tell Clark Kent is Superman. I can't tell Inspector Henderson's a detective. It fools everyone, black plastic glasses. The Daily Planet's top investigative reporter can't tell Clark Kent is Superman. However, she catches the crook, but loses him when he puts on black plastic glasses. Put it this way, R2-D2 could walk around unnoticed in Metropolis if he put on black plastic glasses. Oh well. This is Rex Rude. See you at the movies. Inquisitor, America's biggest gossip newspaper, a uh, magazine. Pick up a copy today. This week in the National Inquisitor, read about how stupid juries are, how jurors are all drunk. Also this week in the National Inquisitor, read about why Carol Burnett's not on TV anymore, how Johnny Carson's out of control. Read a shocking expose about California judges. The National Inquisitor, read about Soupy Sales' temper, Lassie's torrid love affair. Arthur Godfrey says he'll never hire back Julius La Rosa. All this week in the National Inquisitor. Also a free bonus in every issue, a pull-out Carol Burnett dartboard. And full details about our lucky jury contest. If you're a juror, you could win $1,000 a week for the rest of your life. Find out how in the National Inquisitor, America's top gossip newspaper, a magazine, at checkout counters everywhere.
When New Yorkers want news, where do they turn? To New York's all-news radio station, WINC. Wince Radio, all news, all the time. Mainly all noise, all the time. All noise. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you a headache. WINC, all noise, all the time. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you 14 commercials. The rest of the time, sound effects, noise. You want to relax, put on another station. Want to get all worked up over nothing, put us on. News, when you need it the least. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the same four stories nine times. With Mark Simona, we'll be back after this important word. A message from the committee to elect William F. Doolittle. Will Doolittle for you. My fellow Americans, this is Will Doolittle. If elected, one of the first things I'll work on is straightening out the post office. If that's possible. I seriously doubt it. If you think Three Mile Island's a disaster, then look at the post office. They're raising the price of stamps again to 20 cents. You know, in the Old West, people used to rob the post office. Now the situation's reversed. 20 cents for a stamp. Writing's the next best thing to be in there. Certainly the next most expensive thing. Why should I write to somebody? For 20 cents, I could call them twice. Not only that, but it used to take a day or two for a letter to get to somebody. Now it takes a week or two. The service gets worse every day. The price has gotten ridiculously high. What does that tell you about the Postmaster General? Let's bust this guy back down to private. Let's try and slap some sense into him. You might write to him and complain. But by the time the letter got to him, he'd have passed away. It's probably only one way to speed up the mail. We make all postal workers get their paycheck through the mail. That'll speed it up. Why should they raise the price of stamps? Why don't they just make smaller stamps? Oh, well. This is Will Doolittle. Vote for me. And no write-in votes, please. They always get here six months after the election. Paid for by the committee to elect Will Doolittle. Will Doolittle for you.
routine alone will cost you several hundred dollars. Set aside a night, a day, another night, and another day, and see War and Peace on Broadway. You won't be bored. You may pass out from hunger after the first 30 hours. But think of the joy, the relief you'll feel when it's finally over. And then you'll find out the curtain call takes another hour and a half. War and Peace on Broadway. Order your tickets today. Cheapskate Charlie's is New York's favorite chain of family restaurants. You're going to get spoiled at Cheapskate Charlie's. Look at the incredible deal we have for you. Order any $13.95 dinner and we throw in the rest for free. The whole works. Free water. All you can drink. Visit our complimentary roll bar. All the rolls you want and all the butter you want free. Not available at all locations. A spanking clean white napkin is included at no extra charge. Freshly washed silverware and china at Cheapskate Charlie's. Mention this ad and we'll give you an elegant wine glass to use during your meal. $5 deposit required. At Cheapskate Charlie's, you get free parking directions. Cheapskate Charlie's. Here's Orson Welles for Carvel Ice Cream. Well, what have we here? Freddy the Whale. Served 8 to 10. Or me. Makes a good breakfast. Here's another special. Ernie the Elephant serves 20. I eat it on a cracker. Don't forget about our thinny thin ice cream. I did. Carbell will sell no ice cream before it's time. MCA. In your room alone? Are you a loser? Are you boring, lifeless, have no friends, no luck with women? Then you have potential as a computer operator. Are you dull? Wear funny clothes. Think a hair dryer is just for women. If your life has been empty since Hello Larry went off the air, then you're a potential computer operator. Pick up the phone. No, the phone. The black thing with the buttons. <laughs> you're gonna be perfect. Call Nerd Academy. Do you think Jerry Lewis is funny? Then you're for us. How much money can you make in a year? What do you care? How much your t-shirts? Is your mother gonna raise your board? Just be lucky you don't date. Become a computer operator. You'll work with people like yourself. People who have the same interests. Sleeping and eating. You can compare hush puppies. Have a contest for the best pompadour. Call Nerd Academy today. If you're calling from out of state, you better ask your mother first. You know how mad she gets at you. Call today. Nerd Academy. A message from the committee to elect William F. Doolittle. Will Doolittle for you. My fellow Americans, this is Will Doolittle. If elected, I will pass legislation that will really help you. First off, I'll clean the streets of loud radios. I'll get those loud radios off the street and back into the garbage cans where they belong. There'll be new laws. You'll have to be over 35 and show ID to buy batteries. All radios must be registered. It's like a handgun, only more annoying. Anybody caught with a loud radio will have their eardrums enlarged with a blunt instrument. Maybe then they'll be able to hear better and won't have to turn the radio so loud. We wouldn't need these tough laws if some of you would clean out your ears once in a while. What do you do when you go to the movies? Make them turn the sound up to a piercing level? You want to get attention? Get a job. Everybody'd be shocked. I hate to get tough, but if you're going to walk down a street like a fool carrying a huge radio, good thing you're not into TV. I'd hate to see you trying to carry a console down the street. Imagine if you'd like billiards. Put those radios down, you hard-of-hearing hoodlums. I hate to call them hoodlums, but uh, they can't hear me anyway. The radio's too loud. You guys with the radios are never listening to the news or stocks. It's always bongo, bongo, bongo. And you all got the same station on anyway. You only need one radio. If you like music so much, join a band. The 
only good thing is you'll know when to report when they draft you. You'll hear it on the news. And then you can carry a rifle instead of a radio. Don't worry, the gun makes less noise than the radio. It's also not as heavy. Oh, you don't want to register for the draft. How would you like to register for a prison? I'm Will Doolittle. Vote for me. Remember, it's free. Get aboard the Will Doolittle bandwagon. And it'll take you for the ride of your life. Paid for by the committee to elect Will Doolittle. Will Doolittle for you. Are you looking for a great messenger service? There's no such thing. They're all the same. So why not come to us? The Neanderthal Messenger Service. You'll know the Neanderthal Messenger when he arrives. Tracking mud across your carpet. Please pardon them if they drool. Be patient. Remember, they're doing the job no one else wants. Nowadays, it's not easy to get someone to walk 46 blocks for two bucks an hour. When he grunts and you hear primitive sounds coming from his mouth, you know he's trying to say, thanks for using the Neanderthal Messenger Service. Our messengers aren't as dumb as they look. No one could be. Don't let the knapsack fool you. He's ready for action. Just fill his canteen with fresh water. Don't judge him by the fact that he's drooling on your carpet. Just point him towards the elevator and hope he finds his way out. And remember, all messenger services are just as bad. What do you expect for four bucks? Neil Armstrong to fly it down the hallway? One small step for man. One long trek for the Neanderthal messenger service. Come on. What did you think you could get for four bucks? James Bond rushing it over in his Aston Martin? Be realistic. All messenger services are just as bad. So why not call us? The Neanderthal Messenger Service. Here's Orson Welles for the Association of Designer Jeans Manufacturers. Designer jeans are not for everyone, only for certain people. As the famous inventor Dungaree said over a century ago, you don't have to be a factory worker or a farmer to wear jeans. It's true, not only lowlifes wear jeans, not only people with stupid jobs wear jeans. Fashionable, chic people wear jeans, too. However, we can't have confusion as to who's who. We must separate the classes. It's not the same. They're driving a truck. You're a professional person. They're wearing their jeans to a factory. You're wearing yours to a disco. They're packing crates. You're going dancing. Don't worry. There'll be no confusion. Your jeans will have a designer label. That's why our jeans cost $100. You may say to yourself, there's no way jeans can be worth $100. You're right. If we told you what they cost to make, you'd drop dead. But you're paying for status. That's the idea. There's no way known to man that jeans can be worth $100. Remember, you're buying status. Not everyone can buy them. And that's the idea. We don't want Saul and Ernie unloading the frigid air wearing our jeans. You don't want to be seen wearing the same jeans Saul and Ernie are wearing down at Pier 5. Even if Saul and Ernie save up for months to buy these jeans. Don't worry. By then we'll change the style and raise the price. They won't be able to keep up. That's why we charge so much. The price pays for jean insurance to ensure... You're not wearing the same jeans as some lowlife. Now, here's an embarrassing situation. Maybe this has happened to you. You go into a chic Fifth Avenue store, and the stock boy is wearing the same jeans as you. Well, then buy our jeans, starting at $100. And stock boy number one won't be able to buy these jeans unless he wants to go without food for two months. He might decide he wants to buy a pair of our jeans, but let him try. The price will stop him. He'll have to choose between these jeans and eating. Which will he choose? 
I can smell that Big Mac being wrapped now. When people see you in our jeans, they'll know you're loaded. They'll know one of two things. Either you're rich and sophisticated, or you're a stock boy who hasn't eaten in two months. Our jeans make a millionaire think twice about buying them. Even David Rockefeller would raise an eyebrow when he sees the price tag. We wanted to make them more than $100. But let's not lose our heads. There is such a thing as a Federal Trade Commission. There are laws. There's a fine line between too much for most people and too much for the FTC. Don't think we didn't consider it, but there are rules. We're here to get gene lovers united, not indicted. $100 is a good compromise. We don't want to get anyone killed. We don't want some poor slob in the Bronx starving to death saving to buy these jeans. Regular jeans are $20. Ours start at $100. And many ask, what's the difference? The difference is Saul and Ernie aren't wearing our jeans. When your ego is worth more than money, you need our jeans. Some jean companies are nearsighted. There's a fine line between nearsighted and indicted. The FTC sent us a letter saying our jeans are too much money for most people. Good, that's the idea. Our campaign is working. Status costs money, and we're here to sell it. But not to Saul and Ernie. This message brought to you by the Association of Designer Jeans Manufacturers.